The cottage is on Stony Lake, which is in the Kawarthas, um, so it is a beautiful two-hour drive east of Toronto. I've worked with this couple for close to 10 years um, on, their, on their city home, so when they bought this cottage, I was delighted for them and delighted at the prospect of doing a different space for them. In terms of the design, what I really wanted to do was embrace obviously the location of the cottage so it's situated right on the lake and um, so most of our inspiration came from the outdoors we knew when it came to sourcing we would want to have things like wicker and rattan and um, natural woods fabrics would be linen and cotton just gorgeous breathable very textural materials were sort of the canvas that i wanted to start the design scheme with In this half of the house, the view out the window is paramount. So we knew we wanted to make a really sort of cozy den there. And that is where they get up and have their coffee in the morning. It's just a gorgeous space to sit and put your feet up. The house is always full. So the table we picked will comfortably seat eight, but it does also have a large extension leaf. We put in a wrought iron and glass cabinet, which provides space for larger pieces for storage. We also have an amazing mirror, which the frame is made from blue beaded glass. And I actually, I saw that I was at a design show before I knew I, I had this project and just saw that mirror and thought, that is cut to go in somebody's home. And then literally two weeks later, I got the call about this job. <laughs> I thought, okay, this is, <laughs> this is the mirror, this is destiny, um, and it's beautiful here. The living room has two zones in it. We have a sort of nook by the fireplace where we place a couple of upholstered wing chairs. So it's like a really cozy spot in the winter. You can have the fire on, and if it's just Two people that are up here, it's just a nice cozy corner. I just wanted to soften the overall look here, so we got some wallpaper that is hand blocked, so again it just echoes that sort of handmade textural feeling, and we put that on the back walls and then also put it in the base of the cabinets. We also had an oversized custom sectional made for the main area in the living room, which will comfortably seat about six people. And so there's two main seating zones, but still everybody's still very much connected. In the powder room, I think that's always an opportunity just to have a bit of fun and not to take things <laughs> too seriously. So we got a fabulous wallpaper that has antlers on it and it comes in a teal green. Just a gorgeous little accent on that wall. So in the master bedroom, we just wanted a really soothing, simple retreat. We've got a king-size bed. The bed linens are a mix of cotton and linen. And then above the upholstered headboard, we have a juju feather headdress, which again, just adds a little organic touch to the room. We have a bunk room where we have two twin beds and there's also a set of bunk beds. And I think that's used by little kids and also big kids. Yes, I think it, the weekend this is a very busy house with lots of visitors, so I think it gets, those beds get very well used. We had fun in that room, just, you know, we've got plaid duvet covers and, you know, contrasting pillows and things, so it just looks like a space that's sort of grown over time, even although we sourced everything sort of in, in one shopping trip. On the second floor, there's also a large guest room that has its own ensuite bathroom. That space has a lovely sort of sitting area as well. So it's nice if there's a family member who's staying for a little bit longer, you know, they, they still have their, their own place to also sit. So it's nice that room has, has the size and the capacity to be able to accommodate that. Outside, there's a deck that stretches the whole back of the house and then further down they've got Muskoka chairs out on the dock and then there's also an area with, with a fire pit. So they've got lots of sort of gorgeous outdoor space. The view is just, is everything, you know, and I think we were very careful with the design not to, not to fight with that or not to detract from that because you walk in and your jaw literally hits the floor because that's 
you just feel like you're on a boat, you know, you're just floating on water. It's funny, you come in here and you've driven up and you can just feel soothed when you see the water. It's just spectacular.